uses for a cell phone camera. Inspired by another post, what are ways you use your cell phone camera other than regular pictures? For example, when I'm needing parts for an appliance, I will take a shot of the model and serial numbers to make it easier to look up. Or, when I need to look at something up really close, I'll take a picture and then zoom it in. What other examples? Translate signs in different languages. I use mine for menus posted on the wall of restaurants that are too far away to read. You take your picture and zoom. You can use your phone camera to see infrared light from a TV remote to check if it is working. I take pictures or video of something I am disassembling, and the steps in the process so I can put the thing back together after completing maintenance or whatever other reason required the disassembly. Looking at awkward or hard to reach places I use the video and torch. Parking spaces especially at airports when traveling. I take photos of the back of my TV and entertainment center before I disconnect all the cables. This way when I reconnect everything later, I'll know exactly where everything goes. Checking how big my bald spot is getting. I take a picture of all my RX bottles easy for doctor's appointments. I have a severe visual impairment and can only see clearly up to a few centimeters. When I can't find my glasses or contact lenses at night or in the morning, I open the camera on my phone and look through it. Documenting something that doesn't occur on command. Fingers turn white in the cold, but it doesn't happen in the doctor's office. Pet having a seizure? House making a weird noise in the wind? Take pictures of wiring or other hardware you are about to disassemble in case you forget how to put it back together. Took a picture of a truck and its license plate as it drove away after hitting a parked car. Waited for the owner and gave her the picture. At the grocery store, I snap pictures of the shelf price tag when things are on sale. For some reason, things never ring up right my local Kroger store and the pictures proves it to the cashier and they can manually adjust to the right price. They act like no one ever does this. So it leaves me wondering how many people think they are getting a deal they never got. Mine can be used as a scanner for documents. I was able to throw out my old HP printer scanner fax. When I am at the hardware store and the item on the shelf for some reason doesn't have a barcode to scan I take a picture of the barcode on the shelf, saves the checkout person having to look it up. 1. If I leave my coat in a cloakroom, I make a photo of the number I got, in case I would lost it. 2. I send my husband photos of product packaging I want to buy. Looking into hard to reach areas. I recently used my phone to check under the washing machine to find a leak. I park in a put $5 cash in the numbered slot slot. No receipt given for expenses that I'm reimbursed for. Taking a photo of the lot's big $5 parking sign, is acceptable as my receipt. When you do car maintenance, take a pic of the odometer and make a note of the maintenance performed. Now you'll always know when maintenance is due. Someone writes a note on a scrap of paper, I take a picture and toss the scrap. As a magnifying glass. Trying to read tiny print on a pill bottle etc. I just use the zoom on the camera. Padlock combination stored in favorites album. I refer to it every time I need to open the lock. Bell schedule. What time does second period end? Check in favorites. Take a picture of a poster about an event I want to attend. iOS added a feature somewhat lately that you can copy and paste text in photos. It's remarkably efficient at correctly copying text and numbers at difficult photo angles. If I'm entering text on a website or app on my phone that's long and tedious, like activation codes or order numbers, I can snap a quick screenshot of it, and quickly copy and paste. Once we were capping an old well at my dad's house but wanted to see the bottom 40 feet down first so we duct taped my phone to a rope and put it on video and lowered it down. Mirror, for a quick makeup check, or to see those out of view bits when shaving. I use it to take pictures of receipts. Bought an electronic device with one year warranty. It stopped working after five months. 
brought it back to the store, showed them the receipt, got the replacement. Take a picture of the serial number label on your modem and cable TV boxes so when you have to call customer service you're not trying to grope around behind the TV to read them. When you park in long-term parking at the airport take a picture of the sign that shows you what section you're parked in. When I go hiking, I have a compass app on my phone that lets me take a photo with the direction N, S, E, W etc. So at certain points on my trip, I'll turn around, point the camera where I came from and take a shot. So, on my return hike, if I need guidance, I look at the photos. I use the camera to assist when trying to plug things in where I cannot see. Like HDMI upside down hookups on a monitor. Taking pictures of whiteboards after a meeting to document, never to look at it ever again. 20 of my pictures are in this category. Use it to check if a remote control is functioning. Point the remote at the camera and push a button, you will be able to see the IR LED flashing. Photos of my mushroom finds to document when where I found them. Very useful for ID but best use is a year later so I return to that place at the same time. Recipes. Then I put them in a note in the notes app with a title. Loaning something out. Take a picture of them with the item. Delete the picture when they return it. Save it in a folder. Reading labels. I doubt even when my eyes were in their prime that I'd ever be able to read the labels on canned cat food. Also handy for taking in the shower to see what's in your shampoo. What a good bunch of suggestions. As a PDF scanner. iPhone camera can identify plants and flowers. Take a photo. Open that photo. Tap the eye with the stars around it and it'll identify the flower or plant for you. Walk around a rental car before driving away to document any prior damage. Don't show it to them if damage occurred while I was driving though. That was already there. Apparently at 55 years old, labels are too tiny for me to read. I take a pic to magnify them. I use my phone camera to keep track of what I need to buy to stock my pop machine. Portable mirror. I use mine, with my Apple Watch to see into hard to reach places, like cabinets or computer towers. I've even have taped my phone to a pole to get model numbers off of hanging speakers so I don't have to drag a ladder around. Recipe Collection Shopping list one that I use every month. Design collection for embroidery and to follow while doing it. Snap a photo of the shopping list before leaving the house for the day. I forgot my glasses yesterday and took a photo of the menu to enlarge it so I could see. Taking pics of the rear of a wall mounted TV so I can determine what video inputs it has and where they are exactly so I can connect it to a digital signage player for work. This is gonna sound bad. I take a snap of my license plate because I have trouble remembering it. Then when I put money in a meter, I don't have to stand there with a blank look on my face struggling to remember it. If I put down my glasses and walk away and then can't find them, I use the camera as my glasses to find them. Webcam for my desktop PC. I like to take pictures of things that are just out of my reach, or around some kind of corner. An example would be when I was troubleshooting my furnace. I would stick my phone in there, snap a few pics and review. Same with working on the car. Set up a bird feeder camera or other security type camera with an old phone, a USB charger and motion sensing app. Wi-Fi, not phone data. I'm quite inquisitive and I'm always saying ooh I wonder what that is, like a plant, building, object. Google lends it and Bosch, all the information in the world. I take pictures of the contents of my refrigerator and pantry before grocery shopping. No more buying bread when I already have five loaves. Take a picture of your car when parking at the airport or anywhere with a large parking lot. This has saved me from searching aimlessly for my vehicle with late night flight returns since I can have a horrible memory.